The issue of used tires tied to the tire redemption program rolling by without any solution in sight. Thanks for joining us this morning at 7 o'clock. I'm Caitlin Locker Bay. And I'm John Paul. So glad you're with us here at 7. It's become known as Tire Mountain. More than 50,000 tires sitting on a property where they don't belong. Show me County Commissioners expected to address this issue here in just hours. Local 24 News reporter Dave Dentley working the Story Force Live in South Memphis. Dave has more on the ongoing issues now. Good morning. Hey, good morning. We'll take a look behind me. You can see sunrise over Tire Mountain. Not the most beautiful of sights, and that is because they are filthy, dirty, they smell, and they haven't moved since February. Now, of course, we are once again talking about that $15,000 in grant money that was given to Refurban. This, of course, just one of the latest issues surrounding this tire redemption program. Now, here uh, later this morning, the Budget and Finance Committee is set to talk about a repayment plan for that money. As we've reported, the company owes roughly $40,000 in property taxes. This is the latest in what's become known as Tire Mountain in here in the uh, city of Memphis as well as Shelby County. As we've reported, a lawsuit was filed by the nonprofit group called SSS. It owns the land where we are this morning where the tires are piled high and they were dumped here during the uh, Memphis and Shelby County's tire redemption program. Problem was that the CEO of Furbin told the city of Memphis the tires could be placed here, except he doesn't own the property. Now, this case involves a gag orders, money unaccounted for, and tires that are just sitting around. This is a multi-layered situation that every layer is crazier than the last. Um, I can't figure it out. And again, the tires remain here without any uh, timeline as to when they will be moved, recycled. Again, Shelby County Commission expected to talk about that $15,000 possible repayment later this morning around 930. We're live in South Memphis this morning. Dave Detling, Good Day Memphis.